Peace, King. Peace. Salam alaikum. Islamism. Peace of the Good Moors. evening. Good morning. We are here. Grand Rising. <laughs> to the ladies. I don't say Grand Rising. I mean, uh, well. I, I feel it. Because <laughs> morning, why would you mourn in the morning? Grand Rising to I the can... divine feminine out there. You feel me? What's happening? You feel me? Uh, I like my, uh, my Caucasian greetings. Good morning, <laughs> sir. I really do. Good morning. I was uh, this uh, this Sunday at the mosque. Like uh, some, we were me and the brothers we were outside, just posted up, and then the policeman came by in the in the copper, in the cop car, and I literally hit him with a good morning. <laughs> 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 not even being a, not even being an asshole. No. Just also like real like that's that's what I do. You All know the niggas is like, wait, what? <laughs> this nigga right here. <laughs> it was. Pretty, uh, it was good. It was funny. I don't regret it either. I'm like, I'm not, no, I'm not going to not be me because you grew up in the hood. Amen. <laughs> like that, the whole desire of, um, like not being myself to fit in with like people from, I'm like, I don't got to do that. Shit, yeah, man, your nigga impression was hilarious, bro, by the way, bro. Which your, like impression of how niggas talk, <laughs> how <her> niggas talk. <laughs> It's so funny because it's true. We we, so we true. talk with our shoulders and our neck, bro. We do. Woo, we neck talk. We talk neck. with our shoulders. We, we do. talk I, so much. We do. Woomty woo. <laughs> like, oh god. Okay, cool. I get it. You the man. You're gonna do all this dope shit. But like, what are you doing? We right speak now, with bro? our neck and our shoulders. Man. There's just something about it, man. We we, we, we talk with our shoulders. Uh, and you accentuate everything. Um, and I'm sure I have black man tendencies. I'm not sure how much. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really look because at because I learned that. A lot of our trauma has resulted in in a, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? Overcompensation. No, it's a a, a little bit of um, personality. This I forgot what it's called, but like a lot of us coming from the hood deal with narcissism. Oh, and yeah. psychopath and psychopathy. Uh, yeah. Which is a good and, 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 and we grandiose things and the grandioseness yeah. is a little bit. It's a, you know like I say we we all deal with it to some absolutely. Crap. We grandiose. Um, but that's how we survived by grandiose. Facts. Uh, I think black men in general have that tendency to grandiose. Yeah. Things and nar and narcissism because it it's painful living in this black skin. You're right. It's it's Painful. a it's it's the it's, coping mechanism. it's the only not only but it's one of the few ways that you can survive and show Facts. your value. Facts. Facts. Especially dealing with other black people, yeah. which is like if you don't if you're not grandiose then we discard you. If you're not grandiose then we don't really rob you. Lame. Like you're lame. You were lame. If you ain't a fly nigga then you a goofy. You, uh, so we got to so and we got to step we can we got to step into being a fly nigga before we even a fly nigga. Nah, for real, bro. So we got to create a fly nigga. Nah, facts. And a part of the creation is the grandioseness. Yeah, facts. No, so I, you can almost all this out. Man. I understand, man. Because I'll be studying this. I'll be studying narcissism and, and, yeah. and uh, personality disorder and things of that nature and psychopathy, yeah. things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to open this up, bro. Yeah, open this up. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the most merciful, and master of the day of judgment, the alone do we serve. Thee alone do we beseech for divine aid. Guide us on the right path, the path upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not upon whom thy wrath has been brought down, nor upon those who go astray. O oh Allah, thank you for this hour, for this time. Guide this conversation. Lead us to victory and make us fearless and uncompromising in pursuit of your divine will. We love you and serve you alone. Amin. I mean, I like that last little uh, little, little bar you doing there. Fearless victory. It, not that one, but the uncompromising. Uncompromising in pursuit of your divine will. It's long. Yeah, I, I rock no, with that. We, that's a little. That's a that's a bar. Thank you, sir. That's a caption, man. That's like a Drake caption. That's like <laughs> under the picture. <laughs> and the thing is, when when you're with Allah, you don't have to compromise as long as long as you're with Him and not with your ego. And that's <clears> that's the battle. That's the battle. Me. That's the battle. That's no, the battle. It, it's very very battle. It's like, do, am I am I with Allah or am I with my own desire to be right in the present moment? And it's difficult. Th this ties in. This ties in with narcissism. Too. Don't fact, come on, man. Because when you are, when you rely on <clears throat> narcissistic crutches to survive, your ego is inflated, and then that dilutes your ability for a lot to communicate with you. Mostly, him telling you to chill, bro. Can we? Can we talk about it, man? Yeah, I'm talking. Let's talk it. about it. I'm talking about it, bro. And it's uh, it's to me, it's like the, it's it's like this the the tragedy of Top G, man. <laughs> Oh, that yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's like the the similar traits coming from nothing, building himself yeah. up. It was not. It was okay, but yeah, it was okay in society. 
Yeah. Until he starts saying he a black man. <laughs> yeah. And then and until then. he starts saying he a black man. And then once he starts saying a black man, that's when it sh- it shifted. And then Muslim. Let's be clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went identifying clearly as a black man because he was ethically ambiguous. He was a, exactly. He passed he as a like, white man. He, he passed was, as white man. No, yeah, for real. He was like eh, or I, or a safe colored person like The yeah. Rock. Like The Rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all play that game of like, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. I uh, I'm not white, but I could be sometimes. I'm gonna make. I'm not gonna really play the black card because it. I can get more in life in the white man's world if I just chill with that card. So yeah. I won't play that card. That's where he was. Yeah. And there's a lot of like light, like the light skin maneuvering. Yeah. Finessery. Fine- Come on. Super finesse. Fine- yeah, finesse. Navigating as a as a as a as a white man. Na- yeah, navigating and using that ut- utilizing that privilege that you're like. Cause he because he's been talking like a white man. Like let's be clear. That's he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he, not talking like a like a nigga, bro. He doesn't talk. He talks like a he talks like a uh no, I mean even not not necessarily the things he say, yeah. or not, not necessarily how he speaks. I'm saying the fact that he said these a lot of things he was saying was just talking like a white man, bro. Talking like you're not an Asiatic man who going cool. Like this whole world isn't designed to destroy you and kill you, Facts. and will gladly destroy you and gladly. kill you. Gladly, yeah, gladly. As a black man, Facts. we know that. We accept the weight of that. Yeah, you know. Facts. So it's just an interesting case that they're like coming from the hood, coming from nothing, building yourself up, tapping into debauchery, tapping yeah. into the game, tapping into things you shouldn't tap into, tapping into narcissism, grandioseness, right? Yeah. And then projecting grandioseness, Facts. and then ultimately. All that being removed from you, facts. Like around the same time as Jay, exactly. Jay was going around talking about saying, "Like I'm not gonna listen to you if you got if you got less money than me." Not and then they took all his money. <laughs> That's right. He, he spent all his life becoming the richest black right. man to send the richest black man for yeah. a year and a half, maybe two years. Facts. For them to be like, oh, we don't care. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Not the richest black man in the world. Now was all that grandioseness. Yeah. Whose money was that? Right. It's our money. Okay. And we we took it from you. Because it was never real in the first place, and we could do with it whatever the, whatever we want. So very similar trajectory. And they're both like they're both. Uh, it's like a recalibration. Borderline personality disorder. Uh, Kanye. That's what it's called. That's, oh, that's yeah, the name. Yeah, what it's called. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. But similar conditions. That's what I'm saying. Coming from the hood, coming from nothing. Coming similar. From, yeah. You know, losing his father young. Yeah. Not having a relationship with father. Coming from the hood, making himself tapping into the game, tapping into the isms, tapping into, you know, tapping into. In feminine energy, Kanye tapped into marrying Kim Kardashian. He tapped that's some that's that's some energy. It is tapped into the Kardashian family. Yeah, it is leveraging the Kardashian family to to access more resources. Yeah, ultimately succumb to it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, so, yeah. Top G tap into debauchery. They're the, the, the trying to like remove yourself from debauchery, <laughs> but no, nigga, you have a track record of, of, debauchery. of debauchery. Of debauchery. No, after a pen, and then ultimately you're going to you're, you're going to succumb to it. Facts. You're yeah. going to succumb to it. You, if, um, you know, you got to you're, you're going to pay a price for that. You, you can't just walk away from Kardashian. The man. game. The game, bro. No, you can't. <laughs> you can't, man. Uh, I want to touch on what you said about you know the world being at war with the black man. You got to realize this whole like. White versus black. This whole like this is an ex- this is what the Crusades were about, man. They got, you get the Ro- the Holy Roman Empire versus who the Moors. Who are the Moors? It's the Asiatics. It's That's what it is. It's like it's not. It's very cut and dry about what that what that battle is, and it's this is warfare because we represent two opposing civilizations. The Roman Empire is the empire run by the white man. Our empire, the Asiatic, is the empire run by Allah and the Asiatic, the original black man. That's what it is. That's what it is. So. How they treat us and discard us is a military tactic, mm-hmm. or how they uh, make us less relevant mm-hmm. and make us um, disposable in their empire, mm-hmm. and put up our women in positions of power and discard discard the masculine men who had the ability to wage war and campaign and to build a new civilization. That's what it is. The, the sh- their shit is not personal. Build you up to tear you down. Exactly. Put you at a high level and then accuse you of. Uh, egregious acts. Exactly. Yeah. Acts that anybody with a little with character and integrity won't want to align with. Just the accusations alone. Just the accusations. I mean, he did to Michael Jackson. Yeah, facts. I mean, shot Martin Luther King Day. Child, like child molestation. Yeah. Sex trafficking. Let's, let's be clear. No. Shout out to Martin Luther King Day, but we acting like they didn't like Martin Luther King's uh, facts. Was Sign he it. was? They did they. they Destroyed his character, his whole entire while he was living. Absolutely, assassinated his character yeah. heavily. Yep, imprisoned him heavily. Yeah, we're not gonna act like America. He went loves. to jail. That's real. He went to jail. Nigga, America no. didn't love Martin Luther King. No, 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 no. no. They, they gave don't. him his day in the nineties after his <laughs> wife proved in court that the the government 
assassinated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah. they could do the same thing with Top G. You look up 30 years from now and, they, and we got a Top G day. For real. Seriously. Yeah. And how you know what I'm saying? And how the, the general public feels about Top G is like, oh, he's a sex trafficker. Oh, you can't. Oh, I'm not. You can't take him seriously. You support tr sex trafficking. Hey, yeah, that, 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 yeah. You no, get, what can you say? You can't. You, what you gonna yeah. say? Yes, I support sex trafficking. You right? Not a good answer. It's like there. So it's yeah. like you gotta just they trap. It, 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 it's 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 like Samson, bro. To me, I understand. Like it 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 debauchery will be will destroy you. Yeah, it will. Do you know that I read this story, bro? I didn't. I didn't even know. You know, Samson. He literally told Delilah like his weakness. He he lied about his weakness, and every time he told her that lie, she tried to do it. Hmm. Three times? No, I don't remember that. That's deep, bro. No, no, no. I, I don't understand what happened. So he lied. So you about know, he he ultimately told her his weak, his real weakness. Hair. Yeah. Okay. But what the part we forget about the story is that there were many times where she would ask him his weakness. Mm -hmm. He would lie. She would do the lie, and it wouldn't work. Ah, uh, okay. Three times. <laughs> But it got to the fourth time where he actually told her the, he truth, told her the truth, and she did it. Of course she did. Debauchery. Yeah, yeah. Why did he tell her the truth? Because debauchery, the nigga. Okay. You get what I'm like? There is no why. You get There is no logical. When you tap in with debauchery, there is no, the, all your all your ethics, your morals, your, 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 your rational mind, is you lose it. I understand. Debauchery in itself isn't rational or logical or ethical. No, it's not. No, it's not. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's not. not rational. No. But that's the power of it. Yeah. That's the power of, of unethical behavior. That's the power of tapping into debauchery, bro. And I'm going heavy with that because that's a lot been showing me too. Like, no, to move. You don't think that like top G is over there. No, nigga, looking at mirror you, nigga. Yeah, for if real. If you don't, nigga, get this shit right, that's you right. nigga, you you will destroy your life, that's bro. Right. And you don't have the. I don't have the, not only me, us. At this point, us as Asiatics, we have to accept. We don't have the luxury to play with debauchery anymore. No, hell no. We no. have to leave it in 2022. We Absolutely. have to consciously stay and move ethical and let all the debauchery go. stay. And exactly. yes, I was there. You're right. I was there. Oh, strip club, bring the strip club. Yeah, you're right. I want to I bring debauchery into the kingdom. No, bro. And I was like, ah, play around. It's, it's cute. cute. It's funny. That's it's a funny. fun conversation. Funny. But no. Until you really bring debauchery into the kingdom and yeah. then now the kingdom is tapped in with debauchery. Now you infected the whole kingdom yeah, so and i and, and mind you i had to that i had to show me like yeah it's a cool ass idea but it's cute all right yeah it, um okay nigga. yeah it, it's uh it's, you okay okay, okay, okay nigga. yeah okay bring bring strip clubs to heaven okay bro okay good luck with that good luck with that man that's funny but okay watch what happens you're gonna bring hell to heaven jail yeah, hell, jail, all of it, chaos to heaven. Debauchery. Yeah, debauchery. It's, it's just debauchery, bro. That's what it is. And I and I and I and I had to accept I have to let go of debauchery. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. I know, shut up. <laughs> but you know I'm gonna keep it a stack. I'm gonna keep it a being on record. You do you have helped me with that and even idea of you of like, yeah, I know you're not perfect, but I know you don't drink. You don't smoke. You don't. You're not. You're not I mean, debaucherous, bro. Like I'm not. you're. You're. You're not debaucherous. I can say that about you. No, like that's one no. thing. Can't nobody be like, yeah, we seen Adam. Goddamn, you feel me? Nobody can say that no, right bro. now, right? No, no, no. You're not. You're not into debauchery. Not at all. And that has helped me to even postulate that I. I can like, damn, I know somebody who I know isn't debaucherous. Facts. That means it's possible to not be debaucherous. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I know I can. I know I can become. I know I can not be into debauchery. Facts. Because I know somebody who isn't into debauchery. Facts. That's very similar to myself and carries the same energy. So why can't I do it? I have to. I, I mean, simple? yeah. No, it's, I've always. You know. You know what Malcolm has always said. It's like all you have to do is just be the clean glass of water. I understand. That's well. it. No, that's all. So I didn't. I never. I, I've made fun of you, and I've, <laughs> I've hinted at you being a whore. <laughs> hinted. <laughs> sure. But I never. I never like been like. I, I'm not gonna fuck. I'm, just like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm just like. I'm just gonna. You see me. I'm about the work. I'm about my children. I'm about doing my thing. Yeah. And you've never seen me with a drink in my hand. And mind you, I don't have children. I don't. Ha I'm not. Am I married? Right. Facts. So I'm able to move, quote unquote, differently. But I also know that like. Allah has shown me, like, you you know, I have to get to the root of the debauchery. I have yeah. to get to the root of, like, why I make these decisions. I have to get to the root of the pain and the struggle. It's pain. And, and, and the trauma. Facts, man. And the debauchery. Because Facts. it's like, okay, what makes you 
you know, ultimately I have to get to the root of the unethical ideas. Yeah, yeah, and, and debauchery feels good. It feels great. It bro. feels good, especially when you one when you you have searing pain from your traumatic history and track yeah. record. One and then two when you need a distraction and you don't know where you're going in life. It's just very like oh just oh whoop, text whoop, what's up. Mm-hmm. It's that easy, man. No, and that's really yeah. It's, yeah no. uh, you it's, just slip into it and you look up and it's like it's not it's not happening. You're doing it, you know. Yeah, you're doing it. So taking this class about personal integrity. Oh, that's right. You took the class, bro, man. That's bars. That's shit. Yeah, you I heard about it, man. No, nah, that class is heavy, bro. No, nah. shout out to Zoot who put you on that class, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I definitely gave him. Uh, I gave him. Uh, adapt him up for actually uh, getting you on that course. That it has it has helped. It has helped tremendously. It, 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 it lets you understand the mechanics of sin and overts, what they, uh, especially what it's called, about doing why sin ties you up into paths of more sin, right? Yeah. And how committing debaucherous <laughs> or sinful acts withholds you from confronting life. You're just like, oh, well, it, it keeps you in these cycles. Yeah, because it's a secret. <sighs> It's a secret, and you hold them back. You're just secret. You hold them back, and you hide it from the world. If you're hiding from the world, you're hiding from where you get. You, you gotta where we gotta go. We gotta push full throttle. We can't be withholding ourselves. I understand. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I understand. But if niggas out here doing debaucherous shit, there's a party who's gonna be hiding it from your from your your environment. From me, it's just like, but I, but I'm like, oh, I can't I can't have you withholding yourself. You gotta go. So don't put yourself in a situation where you're going to have to be doing secretive stuff that you have to hold back and therefore you're holding yourself back. So uh, it's real, bro. Debauchery. It's debauchery. Because uh, you think you think all the Samson homies knew what he was, he was what he had going on? You think all the Samson homies was like, bro, you really told her that? Nigga, never, nigga. Yeah. You ain't never, bro, you told her for real? Yeah. I'm sure our homies probably was like, bro, don't tell her that. You know what I'm saying? Or, yeah. or his homies probably just didn't know. I think his homies probably didn't know he was really rocking with because he's Samson, like you say. This nigga, this is Samson. This is a leader. This is, you know, it's not no. What was was he? A, was he a king? I don't remember. Nah, he was just like the strongest nigga. Okay, he was that right. nigga, bro. That's he was right. the strongest nigga. So I don't know if everybody knew he he had the the lighter pulling up, sliding through the crib. Oh, you know what I'm saying? She, his wife. I don't. No, okay, nigga, she was she, she was from oh. a whole other country. Oh, she was she's a, a rando. Oh, she was. Okay. She was from. She was with the ops, bro. Oh, remember, okay. remember, she was with the ops. Bro. I remember that. Okay, she was with the ops. Oh, like man. Delilah was literally with the ops. You think he know he's she sleep with the feds, bro? Bro, man. with the real with the real enemy. Yeah. So okay. it's like that's the coldest part. Cause like, do do you do you really think he didn't know she was with the enemy? Let's keep it a bean. Nah, you feel me? Like we can that the story sounds is a cold story. Like, do you think the nigga really really didn't know she was with them folks, or he probably knew and still was like, man, nigga, I ain't worried about nigga. I'm untouchable. I'm Samson. I ain't worried about that. Yeah. Go tell them niggas. Yeah. I wish them niggas would pull up. <laughs> type shit. That sounds like it's like a nigga, bro. That's not, not for real. Look, not for real. Girl, go tell them niggas that. Yeah. That, I know you with them niggas, and I'ma still slide. Facts, bro. I'ma still slide. You gonna still pull up to the crib? I know you. I know you. I know you. Tell that nigga. I ain't worried about that nigga. For real, bro. I'm not worried about them niggas at all. No. I'm a real nigga. Yeah. From the west side, I'm Samson. I'll I'll fight all them niggas. <laughs> Type shit, that's bro. The, that's the type of shit. Come on. No, that's the type. Caught shit. that nigga slacking, nigga sleep. Got him. Sniffed his shit. Got him. Goofy. Power. Gone. 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 And that's debauchery. How much time does debauchery you hand somebody your power? And you can lie about it. You can lie about it a couple of times. And you will. You can you lie to do. yourself. No, and we do. And we do. You can lie to yourself three times. Oh, um, man. No, nigga. This is debauchery, bro. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Debauchery. This is debauchery, nigga. Yeah. This is some shit you know you shouldn't be doing. Yeah. And this shit going to. So you're gonna to succumb to it. You're going to succumb to this shit, bro. And yeah. I was, I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was very I in a very dark, depressed state, and I was succumbing. I understand. And and Zoop was like, "Nah, nigga, fuck you. Stop trying to worry about getting your money right right now. Nigga, get your ethics right. Get your morality right, nigga." There's a very man. And no, I'm like, you're right. Let me get truth. my ethics and my morality right no. before I try to get my money right. Get I can't get my money right if I never have my ethics right. You got to have your ethics Because if I get my money and my ethics ain't right, I'm going to just you're still, gonna, I'm just going to spend all on the ethical gonna spend, You're going to spend it all. Exactly. No, ethics. <laughs> ethics, the foundation of ethics is a prerequisite to success and to thriving. You have to have that foundation. I, I understand. I, and what I saw, what I really learned was that ethics and morality, they go hand in hand. Because yeah. the part of you wants to be ethical because you want to be moral. You like moral was like your relationship with your community and your and your and your um. One of the define these. Go ahead. I'm, I mean, yeah. yeah like yeah, I remember. Ahead. Like yeah, ultimately, more morality is like how you navigate society and how you interact with people around you, right? You want to be moral. You want to do things that don't hurt people or that doesn't bring people down. All right, I'm gonna define ethics. Yeah, yeah. 
moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting of an activity. Yeah, like like I said, et- ethics is like, yo, my, my I'm going, I am going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G because this is moral, and then when I do A, B, C, D, F, G, it affects you. Yes, sir. I have to be ethical because when I'm unethical, eventually I become immoral, which yeah. means I start doing things that impact people around me. Yeah, and it's easy to hide because because it's easy it's easy to be unethical when you doing a when you believe you being moral right absolutely you know what i'm saying yeah so it's easy to like do things behind the scenes because you not being immoral but you have to accept that these things that you do behind the scenes eventually are going to start impact everybody around you that's right so you have to maintain the things you're doing behind the scenes so that way you don't impact everybody else. And I have to accept that. Yes, if I if I if I get caught, if I if I crash and kill myself driving drunk, that will affect everybody around me. Facts, man. Yes. Yes. It 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 will affect so much. Yes. Therefore you won't do it. It's that simple. Therefore I know, therefore I have to make the conscious decision and accept that if I'm doing this, it's going to impact everybody around me. So I have to work on make sure I don't do it. That's right. You get what I'm saying? It's like I have to choose ethics isn't like, oh, it's not a magic wand. It's like, no, nigga, you have to really observe it and make a choice and say, this choice I'm doing is because I, I want to be moral. And you have to be, it's like you have to be moral first to be ethical. And that's the hard part. Facts. Let's let's clear moral or morality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. Principles concerning to the distinction between right and wrong or good and bad behavior. Okay. So it seems that if we're gonna right creates survival, evil creates destruction. Destruction and succumb. Succumb. Fact. And it's that simple. Fact. Doing the right things will lead. Doing the doing these things will lead to you having a better quality of life. Fact. Doing these things will lead to you having a lot not better quality of life. Facts. How do you feel about it? Whatever, nigga, it doesn't matter what you think or how you feel. You do A, B, C, you do these things that impact society, society will show you, nigga, this is immoral, and we will put your silly ass in jail. Yes. And that's just Asiatic men. We have to accept that part, too. Facts. And, it's just, and we have to accept it more than everybody else because society's already said, oh, nigga, yes, we already know you niggas are immoral. We, we can't wait to throw you niggas oh, in prison. Man, they, you niggas are naturally immoral. Uh, that's what they say, but they cre- create the conditions in our living arrangements to make immoral decisions more likely to occur of course. because they know that traps you in a cycle of destruction so if you want to destroy people give them in a, give them a, a situation where it's lo- more likely not to be immoral we have to accept that we live in an immoral society facts absolutely we live in an immoral yes as an asiatic man we grew up in an immoral society facts it doesn't matter all day you have to still choose to be moral and choose to still be ethical because it's a moral society we will gladly put you in prison and kill you for your unethical behavior. Facts. And the difference between us and whites is that whites have resources and money and power so yeah. they could be immoral but they just have the they have the um, this fake security blanket of money to shield them from the consequences of their justicism. Yeah. It's not extremely predatorial to them. No, no. It's it not. is predatorial to them. Yeah. And a lot of white men are starting to realize that too. Like, nigga, this is, ain't sweet. Don't think that, nigga. No, nigga. No, you, for real. You, it might be more of us in prison, but they coming for you too, nigga. That's right. Just be very clear. Yeah, if They'll you, take you too. They will. They will. Yeah. <laughs> They'll take folk niggas into it, y'all, yeah, every day. Like every day, they, bro. The, the, <laughs> the magnifying glass of scrutiny is not as severe on them as it is on us. Of course. And that's just... They have home field advantage, bro. Yeah, and it's <laughs> our magnifying glass is only getting worse. That's kind of my point. Like yeah. it's only getting Absolutely. worse, bro. Like, with with the things like the top G's and things of that nature. Yes, sir. Because they're, they're coming yeah. for like, oh yeah, you 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 was with this. Like you said, it's like Michael Jackson. It's like that. Like oh, you was with that. Oh, you was with them niggas. Okay, well, what's up now? What's up with these little boy parties you got at your house? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just, what's up? Oh, yeah. we got this little boy telling. You got a little story for us. Right. Let's say you now, yeah. Michael. But say you now. And then it's like, okay, what's up with you niggas who who around Michael Jackson? You niggas is cool with that too? For real. Right? Nah, that's real, man. And that's uh And what and what what can you say? <laughs> right? That's the that's and that's the that's the hard part. It's very difficult. Because they'll throw it's they'll throw immorality on you. Of course. Of course. And you have to ask yourself, am I putting myself in this situation to where I'm making them easy for that to do that? Am I having parties with children? Man, right? 
Am I doing that's unethical? That. Am I doing unethical I'm behavior? You talking about Michael Jackson? Michael course. Jordan? Not, you're doing something. Michael Jackson. I'm not. Ju- Michael Michael I'm not judging him. Michael Jackson. Not at all. But, um, I'm saying Michael like Jackson. Just like, not Michael Jordan. No, Michael Jackson. Shout out to Michael Jackson. Not got on Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> but like you know, he was, he was operating as if he wasn't a black man. He was bro, right? Be very clear about that. Which is unethical to me. It's unethical. Un- un- unethical or foolish, that or blindsided. It will short- lead, it will lead to death. Oh, facts. This is this is like you said. It's Society doesn't care. Foolish, dumb. It doesn't like. For real. Society doesn't care. You are at this level. You do these things. We. Are, it's already a moral society. We have to accept. Yes, it isn't fair. Yeah. We have to be more unethical in an immoral society yes. that will punish us for doing Facts. things that you aren't really that unethical. Facts. And, and it's possible to do so. So we have to also accept the stresses of that as well and the reality of that as well and, and live in reality. Like you said, we can't live with cool ass ideas all the time. No, sir. Top G came with some cool ass ideas. Did he? I haven't really went down that one. I mean, just to his, his that is a who, what color is your Bugatti? That's a cool ass idea, oh. bro. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, but th- is that an idea or is that that was his? I got persona? twenty passports and I and I'm, I got twenty passports and nobody could touch me. Those are cool ass is ideas. That idea? that, that's not a, that's a persona. That's a he was a, he's a, also a professional wrestler. It's you know what I mean? cool ass ideas. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, feel that feel. That's what I'm saying. I, and I I I I've, nobody. I'm not here turning on top. Let me let not be clear. All. Not at all. I'm just uh, I'm these not, these are to I'm me these turning. are all case studies of like turning what I'm, we are. I'm learning facts <laughs> as we should because our lives let me know you're not. Uh, like you're we're, we're not you're not removed you know and those yeah. because things at this high level we should learn about them on, Facts. On level. and it's better to learn them now before we have the um the the power resources that top g has before so right. before we build this the, the mountain of wealth that we're that we're both aspiring to go to let's get our ethics in now 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 and, and eliminate the, all the debauchery. That's right. And and, and reprimand all the debauchery. That's right. Any debauchery, r- remove it. Uh, c- close the door. You know what I'm That's saying. Right. And and uh, be honest. That's right. Be honest. <laughs> you know, be ask honest. me. Like I'm learning. Be honest about it. Be honest about it. Don't, don't justify. Nah. You know. You no, learn about it's ju- debauchery. Yeah. Don't don't do don't, right. justify. don't justify. Don't no, justify. Yeah, and you learn about that cycle of, of justification. Yeah, it's real. It's, it's like true. you do it and then you make it worse by justifying it and then it makes you more likely to do it again and again and then, okay. Now you now you're in hell. You gotta observe it and say this is the All truth. Right. And then and become responsible. Come take responsibility. And you. postulate. I've right. been postulating, bro. Yes, sir. That's been my new word. I'm gonna I'm gonna down I'm gonna I'm gonna to find that that's a very postulate critical. yeah yeah bro uh, i'm gonna look it up on uh i've this been decade. postulating bro yeah i ain't gonna lie to no. you so that's a very that's a cold technology it's a cold technology yes, it is bro. Uh, i'm gonna get this definition quickly and i want to go to my dianetics book and get that see if it's in that book because the um scientology has very specific definitions for their words and they're more uh apt to their meaning yeah i mean yeah. I've, I've been learning i ain't gonna cap bro Absolutely. i ain't gonna cap and learn bro i've been learning no sir all right, here. Postulate. Suggest or assume the existence, fact, or truth of something as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or belief. Suggest or assume the existence, fact, or truth of something as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or belief. Yeah. So when you... So, so, like, suggest it and, until you believe it. Facts. I am going to do this. It's a postulation. Uh, the, way, the way they explained it to me was yeah. like, for an example, let's say... Um, I I accept the fact that I deal with debauchery. Ooh, nice. I can and I can get the idea that I like debauchery. Yeah. Now I postulate that I can make decisions that don't lead to debauchery, and I postulate that I can have ethical, moral behavior that creates. Personal integrity and responsibility. That's powerful. That's very right? powerful. No, that's like, very powerful. I, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is real. And I'm not here to pretend like this isn't real. Yeah. And I can accept that this is real. Yeah. But I can also postulate that this can become real. Absolutely. This is real. Right. I could say this can become the new reality. This can become until I believe it and truly believe it. And I have truly. to really believe, like, nah, I actually I can't. can't. I, can I can't. 
You can do. I can. I can become sober. I can become successful. Yes, you can. I can. I can. I can remove myself from debauchery. Fact. I can have personal integrity. I can be proud of myself. Fact. I can be responsible. Yes. I can it's be ethical thing. and moral. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm like, damn, That's I can't do that shit. Law. And at first it was like, of course. At first it's like, man, I can't do. It. Then it was like, nigga, you can do this shit. Then it was like, damn, nigga, I can really do this shit. Yes, it, was, you can. it was like, hold on, bro, you really can do this shit. Look at my boy. <laughs> no, for real. no, for real. No cap. Not even on no extra. It was like, nah, bro, my my my, my legit bro. Literally, literally, he's like the dude I've the talked nigga to. Be, the nigga be sober. I'm like, this nigga really do be sober. For real. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you have never seen me take a sip of alcohol, smoke anything, <laughs> and you've seen me not judge you for doing it. I've just always got. I'm like, it hit, bro. Out of my car, like hit me. I was like, I was laying. I was like, That's this up, nigga man. do be sober. Damn. For real. I know a nigga who be sober. Yeah, I'm like, I know like my brother be sober. Like, I'm like, oh, that's what's up. I can do this shit, bro. No, like, yeah, I yeah, can do can. it. Like, but you mind can. you, it's it's a mountain, bro. It's a mountain. Yes. It's a mountain. I'm not gonna act like, oh, but I know it I could do it. I I postulated that I could do it. Then I looked at like observable realities of like it is I can actually do it. Yes, you can. So I yeah. And it's more it's easier to postulate, I guess, the negation of what you've been doing than to postulate things that haven't been brought into reality. So if we want to bring in, bring in the, bring in Kemet, bring in the kingdom. Yeah, we're gonna be able to to postulate that we can't bring no dumb shit to Kemet. I understand. You know what I'm saying? So let's start with start from the foundation of removing things that aren't going to serve us. I understand. Let's do that first. I understand. And so and, you know, it's like the, the you know the conversation is like at the end of the day, I I will never build heaven because I keep wanting to bring the strip club to heaven. I'll never get there. It'll never happen. Yeah. I'll just keep creating more of this. I yeah. just keep you feel me? It'll just keep staying strip clubs and Actually, debauchery and chaotic environments. Chaotic, no, It'll bro. never be this. Cause I keep trying to bring this with me. Why are you bringing it? Why are you <laughs> And you had literally a whole barrage of niggas telling you, What are you doing? Myself, Anna, and who else was on that ass? <laughs> it was just uh, it was y'all too. Oh, and I mean too. I mean chimed in and was like, Oh no. Cause he called it, he's like, That's aberration. And he's right. It's like, Oh yeah, well if you what is what it what, is, and I'm is. okay with it, I, I'm okay with it. Exactly. I was okay with it. Exactly. Yeah, and it's like, okay, well what aberrated thinking makes you think that debauchery is okay? The the what environment, justification. Right? right? The what justification, justification which is the environment I come from and how I'll and, and I enjoy it. And I think yeah, that and I know how people enjoy it. Enjoy it and it's still fun and yeah. I think we should I I, I I get the idea that I think we should be able to do that sometimes I, I get that idea I, I get that idea I get that I idea get that. I get but I have idea. to accept that I get that idea and I have to also accept that I can postulate that we don't need to do it anymore that's right boom that's definitely a step of maturity bro because I remember last I remember I specifically <laughs> remember hearing your justification about strip clubs and you said that strip clubs allow my creative energy to flow they do I understand. They I, do. I get, I get that idea. I get that idea. They do. <laughs> get that idea. Right. But I can also postulate that I don't need that to get my, to, I don't need strip clubs to get my creative energy to flow. I can also postulate that as well. I do postulate that. And you do. And you are. I am. time doing that. And that's a very, it's a very powerful technology. I'm going to get the book to see if I can get a yeah, definition. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't make the first one a lie. It just makes it something I observe. Yeah. As truth, Facts. and and only work on only l observing it as truth. That's it. That's it. Not good or bad. It's this is truth. truth. It's the this is what I observe, and that's all it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And 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 yeah, it it did take sitting down. It did take honestly. It took writing the most debaucherous things I've ever done yeah, and handing it to somebody no. and him and him reading me write down the most debaucherous activities I've ever you indulged ever in and be like, okay, no, yeah, awesome. okay. Now, sure. did, now when you wrote down your, your sins, your overts, when you wrote and went to that process of writing that down, what did that do for you? That's a very powerful thing to do. And did one? And I don't work. And mind you, do it in an environment. Do it like don't just do it. With, I'm not here to tell everybody go do that, right? Do it and do it in the context of 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 of, of, of you know like people who've been cleared and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I understand. It, it's not. There's a reason to have facilitators, and we're not. We're not. I'm not here to try to make shift the the. That technology. Let's I be understand. clear. No, I understand. Right? Don't just yeah. go write down your deepest, debaucherous things and hand it to a random nigga <laughs> and be like, <laughs> no, read no, this no, no, and no. be like, 
Oh, oh no, no, no it's a real, that. it's a real thing. Don't do that. Let me be very clear. You can be write responsible it, with this. Yeah, be responsible. With this information and if you were, let me be very clear. You can do it and write it to yourself. You can do it and write That's to yourself. That's fine. Yeah, but don't write down your deepest, darkest cry, criminal sins and yeah. give it to a random person. Yeah, I just want to make sure yeah, that don't. Do I'm that. also being responsible and Absolutely. ethical with this technology and this information. Facts, man. Let me be very clear because yeah, so it is powerful. It is very. But powerful. it can be if not if done incorrectly, it can be disastrous. It could get your ass in jail. Def, right? No, let's be very let's clear. Be very clear. Like, okay. Which is, <laughs> and that may not. Fortunately, I haven't committed no crimes. Yeah. So it good. was. It was just. It was just unethical things. I'm not proud of. I understand. Irrespons- it's just irresponsible things that when you really observe it for what it is, they're just irresponsible and ethical right. things. I understand. And that's the part that it helped me. That's what did they do for me? It helped me to observe these things I think are so wrong and so I'm so ashamed of are just unethical and irresponsible that's things, it. bro. That's it. And you feel me? And I'm yeah. like, they're not really that immoral. They're unethical, irresponsible. Yeah. But they're not that immoral. Nah. Some of them, yeah, okay, they're, some of them are immoral, mainly just unethical and irresponsible. This not is sure. just really being irresponsible. Irresponsible. And not having integrity. Yeah. Which is because you're irresponsible. And you're irresponsible because, because, you, because you haven't suffered the consequences for this immoral act. Facts. No. And and sometimes you have your subconscious mind will create environments where you will where your mind will make you suffer the consequences. That's right. Man. So rather than get to a point where you know your mind is trying to make you suffer the consequences, it will push you and make you leave breadcrumbs. Just Ooh. become ethical. Let's and and or debauchery will come to you, will follow you to your door. For me, debauchery follow me home. I understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, quote unquote, like literal and quote unquote figuratively. Yeah. Of like, oh no, you think you can just go leave the battery over there? No. No, 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 no. Your your brain will put things in place to make sure that your debauchery follows you home. So you have to look at it in its eye. You got to confront it. You have to confront it. You got to confront it. And my debauchery made me confront it. I understand. And it was terrifying. Recently. Yes, and it was something I'm not going to ever speak about. I understand. But that was like Good. a very big wake-up moment. I understand. Um, the morning of the class, my debauchery from the night before followed me home. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. And okay. woke up. Yes. Okay. So Okay. I understand. So, <laughs> Right? Did you, did, yeah, it's great. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Did you unburden your overts before that happened or right after that happened? N- uh, right after that, I went. I went to. I went to that. But I. I didn't even want to tell that over. I didn't even want to talk about that experience. Yeah. Of just like I understand something. Not li- not that literally. Just that just happened. Not literally. It was like yeah. It was. It was. It was a couple weeks ago. Not literally, but just like figuratively. Like it. 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 it conf- I had to confront it. Yeah, man. You know, I had to confront my debauchery. Yeah, man. Um. It, well, it confronted you. Apparently. It. Conf- yeah, but it was my subconscious mind. Like, hey, man. Like, what's up? Hey, we're gonna leave bear crumbs for you. We're gonna make sure that you, cause you're good, and I have to accept that I'm a good man. No, yeah, I'm a no, good man. for real. Yes, and that's and that's also why I've always kind of balanced unethical and irresponsibility because I do so much good I, from my vantage point. I, I do, and I justify the debauchery. <sighs> I justify the unethical behavior yeah. and irresponsibility that's because it. I do so much yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's justification. That's yeah. justification. That's justification, bro. It doesn't make it any less bad. It doesn't. I, they're, they're separate things. The strip club is still the strip club, The strip bro. club is still the strip club, bro, <laughs> no matter what positive things it brings into your life. So we got words to define. So postulates. Hey, hey we, this is the Ascension Podcast. Let's be very clear. And I'm glad we're talking on this because we all know that black men are debaucherous. Like, we, we, we live, we are debaucherous. We normalize it. We glorify it. We we live these lives and we make it sound like this is how you are a man. Pushing P. Pushing P, bro. <laughs> you pushing P. Come on, man. For real, bro. So this is this this reckoning that we're having is really calling all of calling all of us to be like, all right, if we really want to ascend the next level, how are we going to live ethical lives? In in the context when of When is pushing P gonna be pushing ethics? Hey. Postulating ethical activity. We spit all Saturnalia, right? Yeah. Talking about how we want to get past the rings and we want to resurrect and we don't want to loop and all that shit. And a lot was like, cool, great, well, nigga. All right, right, what's up? Great. Here you go, <laughs> Here you go Here, nigga. Here, great. Ring. Here your rings. Oh, you, you think it's his hoe. Oh. oh. You think it's his hoe, hoeing ass, lying, debauchering ass niggas. 
for real. <laughs> for real. No, for real. But welcome, welcome to a new level. I yeah. got you. Like, I got you. Yeah. No, I got you. Like, it, or it was like that. It was like, you niggas used to be. Or if you either either do it and stay there in that loop, or or don't. Yeah, it's up to you. It's up to you. You you don't have to stay. This is like Saturday Night is real. Hey, you know yeah. you're coming to this conclusion and at the beginning. You pick. You pick. You pick because it because it's over and it's finna start. Which That's one right. you want to do, nigga? <laughs> For real. Because they're both gonna happen whether you like it or not. Facts. You're gonna start a new life and you're gonna start new new and you're gonna end. So it's either resurrect and do this shit again, debaucherous, lot unethical, cool, and do good and let this shit catch up to you. That's right. What do we say? Resurrect or, uh, or reincarnate. reincarnate? Reincarnate in the at the previous cycle again. And I and I and I believe I resurrected. Yeah, I truly do. No, you you have on a spiritual level. No, I truly have, believe bro. I resurrected. No, you have, man. You mm-hmm. have because even, I'm still grieving though. You have to grieve that. Well, a part to, of you, a part of you has to die to yeah. resurrect, bro. And like it's just a part of us is dying. So because we both postulated that we're not going back into the rings, man. Yeah, I'm not. Succ- I'm, gonna, so, I'm not going to succumb. And so that, that I'm not going to do no, it. No, we can't. I'm that, not going to. I'm that, a, I'm going to become a real nigga. I don't no, care. I no, you and I both. I, I, I'll fight. I'm gonna fight. What I gotta do? You have to. You have to, to fight to be that nigga, bro. I'm you have to him. fight. You have to you fight have to. because the pull of Saturnalia or the pull of the rings is stronger. Is it's it's the default. Yeah. It's gravity. Yeah. You literally have to defy gravity to get to the next level. So, any move that's against gravity is going to initially feel wrong to you. Yeah. And your reactive mind is going to tell you, "What are you doing? Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? No, nigga, we going back." <laughs> We going back. Nah. We going back. Nigga, come what on. What are you doing? Come you're, on. You're nigga. a bad person. Come you're on. You're a bad person, bro. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because the reactive mind is cold blooded, bro. It's cold blooded because it's you. And it's just, it's the jet. It's all of your sins and justifications tied into one. And it's literally what ties you to the rings. It's trying to, everything's trying to pull me back, definitely. And everything, a lot of layers. Everything is so trying like, to nah, pull me back. Like, don't. Yeah, we, yeah, we, you're yeah, gonna be but broke. Nah, like, nigga. all of it, fear. Like, you're gonna be a lame. All of those, all of those, like, stinging thoughts are very... You're gonna be lonely. Yeah. <sighs> all of it, bro. Come on. All of it. And it's, uh, it taught... It's Come your, on, nigga. It manifests in your <laughs> thinking. It manifests in your physicality. You can get nervous. You're not gonna be loved. You're not yeah. gonna be respected. Facts. You're no. not gonna make it. You're not gonna accomplish this. It's so powerful that it becomes... It, 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 it affects you physiologically. Like you become nervous, you become sweaty hand, like all of these things. It's that's the pull. Mm-hmm. But that's not you. Yeah. That's what has happened to you. Yeah, facts. Over lifetimes. Yeah. So you're gonna tell me j- jumping past the pull of lifetimes of activity is going to be easy? Mm. No, it's easier to succumb. It's easier to succumb, bro. It's easier not to fight. It's easier just to repeat the cycle. So I've had to contend with that because, like, even it's a daily struggle. Yeah. Because you wake, especially when you wake up in the morning, the default is your reactive mind being like, you were lame. The fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck out of here. Bro. You, ain't, you ain't get rid of me, bro. Yeah, bro. You like, ain't get rid of me, bro. No, nah, nah, bro. Nah, you a beta. You, you a hoe. Like, you a hoe. You, you a, a lame. Hoe. You lame. You can't deal without her. <laughs> bro, what are you doing? Yeah. You need her. You need her. Yeah, you need her. You got to take care of her. Yeah. <sighs> she can't do without you. <sighs> Talk to him, bro. Come on. Hey, come on, man. Talk to him, bro. Hey, Talk I had to. Hey, yeah, that nigga got to die, too. He got to die. And I had to look at that nigga He's like, nah, die. bro. They, they, I was she, talking to her. She not a kid. She a grown woman. Nah, bro. She, you know what I'm saying? She's gotta die. They, they're not kids. And they're the, not children. And the more and the more you you feed You're not ready that, for that one, Yeah, the, the, you feed that <laughs> potentiality of what what the, what your reactive mind feeds you about what you need to be doing, the stronger the pull comes. Delilah. You got a point. Oh, Delilah. Point. All right. Definition. <laughs> so postulate based on the book of Dianetics. Things Shout that, out to Samson. Go read the story of Samson. Go ahead, though. I'm back. Yeah, Go yeah. ahead. Postulates. Things that are suggested or assumed to be true as a basis for reasoning. Things that are suggested or assumed to be true as a basis for reasoning. And I'm going to overt. Let's define that one. Oh. Shout out to Dianetics, man. Shout we, out to Dianetics. We need, we need all of our scientists, yeah. man. Shout out to... Do you finish overcoming ups and downs in life? No, I mean, I mean, I mean that thing, man. That thing, that thing. That's so. uh, uh, You took the course. The specific name of the course you took was the ethics one. It was a personal integrity. (sighs) Personal integrity. Personal integrity, man. That shit. That shit was. That shit was real, bro. Yes, it is. That shit was real. Cause that shit was real. 
I ain't never did no shit like that before in my life, bro. Uh, and it, <laughs> it unburdens you from things that, that you didn't know were tying you back. Bro, so much, bro. So much. So much. And like, I could tell this, you're, you're a different person, man. Because I could just observe it. Of just, hey, man. Hey, that's, yeah. Yeah. But I also don't feel like I need to go and tell everybody. No, you don't have to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, yeah. But also, of him being unburdened and just observe the debauchery that I was partaking in, that I enjoy. Yeah. And just observe it for, I'll enjoy debauchery. And, it, and but also continue to postulate um, that I can, can make ethical, dis, ethical moral decisions that create personal integrity and lead to responsibility. Yeah. And I can do, I can become proud of myself. Yeah. That's real. <laughs> yeah. And it's, the, the more you're hiding from yourself, what you've done, the more difficult it is to be honest with yourself and feel proud of yourself. Right? Yeah. So that's that's the burden. No matter what the things you do, there's still you do things that make you not become proud of yourself. Yeah. And make you make you which are ir- because it's irresponsible. And that's the burden of sin. And the beautiful thing about, you know, these sins is like, oh, you don't have to go to a priest. You just you got you got to start with yourself. Because you as self-lord and master are god of you. So unburden yourself of what you've done and that just requires okay well one it helps to actually write it down look at it and be like man damn i did that Mm -hmm. that was me that was me that was me that wasn't my that wasn't no no, i'm learning like to like that wasn't my other that was me nigga yeah that wasn't set that wasn't all no no my girlfriend that that made me do it it was me i did that come on i cheated it wasn't that dude that wasn't him no it was was you it was you it was you it was you it was you bro you fired him you did it (laughs) you you hopped in the car and drove there nigga yeah no for real and you said you sent that text. You made that phone call. <sighs> it's real, man. It's very real. You made that choice. You made that choice, nigga. You, you put that. gas in your car and you drove there yeah. and paid to go in there, nigga, and stayed there. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's like that. Yeah, nigga. I, I had to be like, okay, yeah, no, nah, like, no, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. I feel like you that. called her, nigga. Yeah, you <laughs> called her, nigga. You. <laughs> Oh um, man, you speaking to the late night us and all of us, bro? Nah, for real. Nah. For me, it's like nigga, you, you went to that club, nigga. You went to that environment that you that you would. You no, know. you went to that place that you would hope nobody know you went to. You was there, nigga. You yeah. was in there. Yeah, drinking and, and, and having a good time. Yeah, and pray to God nobody see you in here. Pray yeah. to God no, you know nobody you know is in here. That's right. Because if anybody you know saw you in here, they'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing what are here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Where are you, nigga? Having what are fun? You doing it? Having yeah. fun? Being debaucherous? Yeah. Yep. Yes, nigga. It feels good. If it, <laughs> it feels good because I'm not dealing with something else that's hurting my life. I'm gonna go run over here and right? some debaucherous ass shit. And we all have those dark places in life. I've got them. You've got them. And shout out to Alato. Shout out to Ella. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll make you aware. It's like I see you, bro. Yeah. And he, he's also make you aware. It's like that door is always open to you. Like you have free will to always go there if you want to do that. You're just gonna pay the consequences <laughs> of that Nigger. every time. Nigger. Every time. Every time. Or you, or we're, or you will hold off on the consequences, and then it'll just come back. It'll come back. And then you have to suffer that big ass consequence. That big ass consequence. And what I'm realizing <laughs> is like when you do these things. You know, Satan operates in a way where, like, those consequences will come back at you at the most inconvenient time. Nigga. That's how Satan works. Bro, bro that so, shit will... <laughs> he, he holds it. It's like it's like you give him, you get him armory, and yeah. he's not going to shoot until, okay, now I got you. I, I got you in this one area of life. Just wait. Oh, you're a cold nigga? He's cold. You're a cold nigga? The coldest. He, he, the coldest nigga? The coldest, on paper. bro. The co- on paper, he's the coldest nigga, bro. <laughs> and... <laughs> The, the, it's really it, it's like okay he's not gonna make that move until it's like it's the that has the point of maximum impact yeah to fuck you up yeah and I've learned that personally because there have been st- you and I are both dealing with skeletons from yeah because like you said it's like as much as Allah's you Satan is you too absolutely yep and niggas oh. wanna be like oh no no we can't say arm leg leg oh, arm head oh, and yeah. be like oh that nigga oh, no hey, that nigga over there, over there is you uh, that's you that oh. nigga's the mirror too that absolutely. nigga's the mirror no absolutely that cold nigga who would do some cold nigga shit and will <sighs> fuck this whole shit up every day he get a chance to 
You. You. It's you. You know, fuck this whole shit up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's right there. I'm really, like, uh, to be honest, I don't really tell as many people. Like, I... That that part of me, that entity, I feel it in me. Like, of I feel it like there's like a like it's a spirit in me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally feel it in me, and it was it's like a, yeah, I told you, it's like in this region of my my head. And I'm like, man, how do I gotta exercise this thing? Oh. I didn't. I felt it one time where it was like, I'm driving. And I'm kind of having like an out of body experience. Interesting. Of like, I don't want to drive where I'm about to drive, but I'm about to drive here. And I'm telling myself, don't fucking drive here, bro. Do not drive here. And I'm getting on the freeway. I'm like, Tim, please do not fucking drive here. Don't fucking do it. Go home. Go home. And I'm literally watching myself get on the freeway and go where I was. Go where I was like, I don't. Why am I? Don't go here, bro. Why are you here? And I and I went there. I understand. And I helped him through, and I drove there. I and that shit was that was when I was like, oh, this is kind of scary. It's scary. But even that, it's like, no, nigga, that's you, bro. That's not nobody. That's still that is still you okay. trying to hide behind some other shit to justify oh. why you did the shit that you did that you okay. shouldn't have been doing in the first place. You still you, nigga. There is no out of there was nobody else driving, nigga. That was your hands. That was your nigga. You had your foot on the gas, nigga, Absolutely. and drove there and buckled your seatbelt, nigga, and turned your seat one wrong. It drove there, nigga. So now what? <laughs> That's real. Yep. <clears throat> yep. Oh man, and you, you're you're speaking to all of us right now, bro. Because we all have those moments. We all have. Them. We yeah, and they just moments, and that's the that's the part. Like right, they're just moments, bro. Like I said, it's just it's just irresponsible. We keep doing it because we make it grand. That a part of the narcissism and the grandioseness, bro. Yeah. We also can grandiose. As much as we grandiose our, our our shit, we can also grandiose the 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 unethical and in and, and the irresponsible behaviors we do. Yeah, and we grandiose them. Yeah. Turn these little bro, like you said, reading these things that somebody reading like, oh bro, like all right, bro, for sure, that ain't that deep, bro? Ain't that deep? Like, why are you grandiose in your yo? Why are you grandiose in this shit, bro? <laughs> why is you acting like these this, these things that you do is just goddamn the most? Uh, the horrible atrocities to planet, to, and they're not. Yeah, they're just they're just irresponsible and yeah, unethical and and, and kind of immoral. But the more uh, uh, you feel yeah, me, yeah, <laughs> objectively yes. But to you, when you're not confronting them, they are they build up charge in yeah. you, and they the 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 magnitude by which they affect your movement in life is catastrophic. No, yeah, you that's the grand the grandioseness you create. You create. You it. create a grandiose situation. Yeah. Just like we can manifest, oh yeah, you can manifest becoming a multi-millionaire and having all these things. You can also manifest putting yourself in prison for twenty years. From grand, do you you treating this thing like it's such a big deal to where you will create a big deal out of this? It was which was initially just irresponsible, yeah. right? You drive you you driving you you went to her house drunk. You mm-hmm. fucked around and beat her up, or you you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You fucked around, beat the neighbor up, or you fucked around and. You know what I'm saying? Like, you created a grandiose situation from just something that was just irresponsible. That's right. You know? And just, you, and just, or, or and you shot Megan the Salon. You know? <laughs> yeah, nigga. No, and real. you got to go sit down. Yeah, for real. For a long time. Because you was doing debauchery. That's right. That's right. Using debaucherous environments. Yeah. Playing with her, playing with her, playing with her, kicking with her, on you know, her face, giggling with her, playing with her, playing with her head, playing with her head, playing with her head. With a... And now one of them shot. Nigga. In an environment. Now you got to sit your silly ass down. You can't blame Jay-Z. You can't blame Rock Nation. You, your daddy can't save you. Your mama can't save you, nigga. That's right. You feel me? The lawyer can't save you. And it's funny how... And that's fuck. It's, it's the reality. It's reality, but it's funny how all of us is... A lot of us as black men are acting as his justifi- justification. Like trying to justify or... When, it, when the unanimous consensus should be like, homeboy shouldn't have been in that situation in the first place. Right. No, for real. Because we gotta, like you said, we don't want to. We don't want to observe our own debauchery, bro. Exactly. Exactly. We don't. Because of the grandioseness. Tory Lane was grandiose. He was a little. He was a little nigga who comes. He's a little bitty nigga who got some money and got awareness and then start moving like I'm. You know. Yeah. I'm top G. <laughs> right. I'm grandiose, nigga. Look at me. Look at me. 
Look at me. I fucked your bitch. I got bread. I fucked your bitch. That's yeah. That's the attitude. I got your bread. I got some. I got more money than you, and I fucked your bitch. Yeah. And you start grand, living like that. That's right. I, I I can fuck her. I can do what I gotta do. I can be debaucherous. Yeah. That's right. Yep. And now look look where he is. And it's like so it's his case study because it's not like he's the first. Like he's to me, he's like not it's, not, it's not. He's not the first. It's us, bro. He's just he's just an, another another one. another nigga that they're gonna put in front of you. Hey, nigga, yeah, you niggas think you can get away with being debaucherous? Cool, <laughs> cool, nigga. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck in our world. And yeah. Or you niggas think that this is just America? Because even the whole pa- I don't know. You heard about like the passport bros thing? No, like no, people no. who like bunch of dudes who like. <laughs> Say okay, American women are too bad, and American women don't are too this, and American women aren't this. So we're gonna go to Brazil, we're gonna go to you know f- the Philippines, and we're gonna yeah. women are around the rest of the world are better than American women. Oh yeah, I've heard that sentence. right for sure. And then sure. you get niggas going, and it's like the they getting met, met with feminism in Brazil, and the feminists are like, nigga, you're not gonna come down here. With that bullshit. Yeah, no, and it's right. the feminists who's pressing this issue. Yeah, and it's like, bro, you like or or Top G, oh America, I'm the West, I'm gonna go, nigga, like there is no. Escaping, there's no escape. There's no escaping like being an Asiatic man. No, bro. Facts. And, the, and the, 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 you can't deba- you can't debaucherize your way out of no. nigga. <laughs> you feel me? No, bro. And what I'm realizing is a lot will use lose a woman to humble your ass. Yeah. And he is, and he will. And I I have to we have to accept that. Because a lot of it is your debauchery. That's right. With the with the women. That's right. A lot of it is, unfortunately. Most of it. And, yeah. High majority. Of it. Your, your debauchery or your baitiness. Your bitch assness. Yep. <laughs> right? Your yeah. cu- your, what they call a cuck hole. A lot of niggas still have to step into, stop being a cuck hole. Stop yeah. being a bitch. Yeah. Stop trying to appease her and please her and make her happy all the Stop, nigga. Yeah. For real. <laughs> it's because you can't do it. No. You feel me? Be okay. a man. And at the same time, stop being debauchery can't save you and simping can't save you. <laughs> no. And that's hard. It's but very the truth, difficult. Simping, it? simping so, not going to save you, bro. No, I bro. promise you. You, no, can, no, no. you can goddamn mop the floor and paint the walls and write her love letters and buy her roses no. and eat her pussy every day. And, <laughs> and nigga, it's not going to fucking, she's not going to respect you more, value you more. But in the flip, you're not going to think, you can't think you can escape it and say, oh, these women over here are going to treat. No, they're not, nigga. Yeah. You're still being a simp yeah. or debaucherous. Yes. There. Man. If no. you are a simp or debaucherous in the Philippines, you're going to get treated with yeah. what comes with simping and debauchery. Yeah. As you should. As you should. As nigga. you should. Welcome to life. Facts. Be a man. Yeah, be a man. Which is be responsible. <laughs> be be responsible. responsible. Be ethical. Have morals. Be responsible. And that will be lead to having integrity. Yes, it will. But and that's not that's hard to do, nigga. It's very hard to do. <laughs> right? Hard to we do. can say it, but it's not like, oh yeah, nigga, just go be ethical and in, have integrity and be responsible. Well, nigga, a, how? A, nigga. <laughs> bro, bro, nothing. It's a discipline. Islam. What discipline is fucking easy? Which is Islam. Is facts. The fear of God. Is violin playing easy? No, is nigga. Jujitsu easy. Come on, nigga. Is playing the flute easy? Come on. Is being LeBron James easy? Hey. Is being Kobe easy? These are all fucking disciplines, bro. Why do you think morally, moral morality and integrity any different? It's not. Islam is no different. It's arguably the hardest one in this world, <sighs> which is not is this world ain't Islam yet. Islam? No, and that's <laughs> Satan built his world on the opposite of that. It's like you can do whatever you want. Islam. I gotta get back in my in my holy Quran more. Islam. Absolutely. I gotta get, I, like you said, my turbans and everything. It's all a discipline. It. It's a discipline. It's a discipline. It's a spiritual discipline. And uh, man, we've. Man, in FOI class, we've been touching on that. It's um, because a lot of us in FOI, you know, we have restrictive laws like, yeah, no drinking, no fornication, no smoking. No. That's like, it's like, damn. Very clear. What do you do? (laughs) That's what you, that's the fear. It's like, well, what am I going to do? Oh, well, you pray, you you study, you you, you bit, and you work. You you be, you be, you become responsible. You become responsible. And you have ethics, and you live moral, and you develop integrity. That's right. Because you aren't doing the gateways to debauchery. Those are the, for the most part, those are the those real are the entry real levels to debauchery. Facts. Not to say that, like, and you can't experience it, but I've accepted. I have to be, go sober in order to work on debauchery. I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to just be drinking and I'm not going to be debaucherous. No, nigga. 
Yeah. When I'm when I'm drinking, I'm usually becoming debaucherous. Exactly. And when I'm debaucherous, there's a part of you that drinks for that purpose. There's a exercise. That's, the, that's why you drink. It, uh, that's that's why that's I do why it. You go to that's the why you go. That's why I do it. That's well, why you go out. That's why I do it. I that's why. I drink. That's why. We, that's why we and all I, do and, it. And you have to observe it and tell the truth. And you I drink cannot. so that way you can become debaucherous. Exactly. So that way you can uh, numb the pain. You can numb numb the pull of your conscience, saying like, "Don't do it." And yeah. Then, and then and then absolve yourself of responsibility and be like, "Oh, I was drunk." Yeah. Oh well. Meanwhile, your subconscious mind is like, all right, let me figure out a way to make this nigga have to accept to the consequences. Let me make, sting you. Let me, let me figure out how to way to make sure he goes back to being a good man. What do I gotta do to make sure you can? So let me sabotage you so that way you can figure out whatever you gotta do to become a good man. And unfortunately, with me, I lie so good to me that I lie like, nigga, I got you because I know you're trying to become a good man. So I'm gonna so make sure you. that you that you that you live t- the next day to become a good man. That's right. But I also I was like, all right, I got you, nigga. But do you got me? <laughs> that's the exchange. That's the exchange, and that's where your that's when your relationship with Allah begins. Is when you're like, oh, okay, I got you, but you have to. There's requirements. Yeah. Service. Yeah, you know I mean, service. Step step two of a uh, step one of alcohol of the uh, twelve step program is accepting that this is rock bottom. Step two is accepting that there's a higher power. Step three is accepting that you can't do without the higher power. <laughs> no. You instead, can't. instead of four, you have to take an ethical, moral a code. So I'm lear- I'm tapping into both of them at the same time, like learning the twelve steps traditions and the twelve steps, and then also taking the classes to really address ethics and morality, and observing it and saying and 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 a part of you said a part of what the what the class did is help to be okay with saying it. Yeah, because there's still a part of me like. Oh, you telling people that you're working on becoming sober. <gasps> you telling people yeah. that you're going through. The, yes, I am working on becoming sober. And I'm going through the 12 step program and I'm working yeah. on learning how to become ethical and responsible. Yes, praise the Lord. I am. Amen. <laughs> yes, I. I come from fucking Compton. I have experienced a lot of trauma. My granddad died. My dad died. My grandma died. My mom almost lost her house, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. These things have created traumatic experiences in me that I have to accept. I'm still grieving, and I have to accept. I've been suppressed. Yeah. Yeah. And on top of all that. On top of on the top fact of that, that I've come from this environment already. So, right. yes, it's not an excuse. It's not justification. These things have created suppression and, and, and tr- more trauma. That's right. And I have to observe them for what they are, tell the truth, and then make decisions that lead and po- continue to postulate. That's right. Yes, I have all this trauma. I get the idea that this trauma makes influences me. But I can postulate that this this trauma doesn't have to d- d- dictate and determine my decision making moving forward. That's right. It's as simple as that. And then waking up every day in that post- and postulate that it's a, it's a it's a discipline. It's a discipline. It's a practice. <laughs> as is waking up at five to pray. All of these things you realize that service to Allah requires divine discipline as well. It a. Hey. But that's what we signed up for. That's what we signed up. Because I want I want power. Yeah. I want to run some things and, and lead some things. And you think really, God's going to give us real power if you don't like If it, I'm debaucherous? If you, on, if you can't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, Adam? No. You can't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get the keys up, to the state. I'm going to get the keys to the kingdom. Yeah, but you can't wake up. I'm going to put you in a position of... Uh, you press news nine times? <laughs> couldn't wake up? Come on. Come on. But you want to run some shit. How? No, you want to run You want to run the game. Oh, oh, be- oh. Better than the nigga who running it right now. <laughs> better. But you want her to respect you. <laughs> You want her to respect you, but you, but you can't. Nigga, where? Yeah. Where, where, where? 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 Where's that who? respect? Who? 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 Who, who, who going to do it? Oh, Not her? Not her. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Delilah will. That's right. But what's Delilah going to cost you? Hey. The kingdom. Islam. <laughs> right? Delilah a thug with you and deal with you. Yeah. And de- de- be debaucherous with you. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Delilah will indulge in and, and Jezebel, and we have, and you know, I have to accept that too. Like, hey, okay, maybe, maybe this is just some Delilah energy that I really haven't act. Because, like you said, did he know? Did he look like Delilah, like she was Delilah? Or did he look at Delilah like she was in, like she wasn't Delilah? We don't know. I'm just saying that's the part. Like they, like you said, debauchery in the simp. They both gotta die. They have to die, right? Because it could have been he was on some simp shit. Like this yeah. is Samson, but but behind closed doors, <laughs> nigga, what? A lame, <laughs> a goofy, probably never really had no real interaction with women like that. You feel me? Like, don't know. probably, right? Let's it keep you the bean. It can go, it can go either way. This nigga really probably was a virgin, you know what I'm saying? Beat niggas up, but socially awkward. <laughs> never got no head before, <laughs> right? 
<laughs> I understand. You feel me? Yeah. You get deep. I feel like you. she was she was from another country. You probably never hit nobody that that looked like that. Never had nobody foreign. Probably only had local girls. You know what I'm saying? This ain't this ain't 2023 where you can just nigga. This is right back in the day. Back in the day. Back in the day never bro. seen nobody from the other side of the city. Never seen somebody from a different ethnicity. Never seen nobody with the hair real, texture. Bro. No, that's real. We don't know. It was gaming this goofy ass up, nigga. <laughs> running game on this silly ass. Yeah, man. What? You gotta kill it. You gotta kill that nigga too. And I'm, I'm not gonna. And and don't think that just because we say top G and these niggas deserve what they, whatever to come with. It don't mean that we say, oh, let's become bitches and beta males and back no. down from our masculinity either. No, let's not be very all. clear. No. If anything, we're saying let's let's continue to step into more and and and, and continue to carry the message. And learn from the lessons, but keep that. I'm here to keep the message going of like, men gotta be men, we gotta be strong, we gotta be assertive, we gotta be intelligent, we gotta be confident. Recipe to Kevin Sam. Responsible and moral. Facts. No, have to. Facts. And essentially, what we're really, really arguing for is like, this is Islam. It's just not, not from the. Not from the vernacular of Islam. It's just like, this is what it requires of you to be disciplined and have integrity and ultimately serve Allah because he's the only one that can, he is the only one that can get you out of this hell, which is the external environment, but also the hell of your own reactive traumatic mind, which keeps you operating in set in Saturn's rings and going back to level zero mm. of the previous level. That's hell. This is hell. That's hell, man. It's hell, bro. And That's you and I have both experienced in it. Bro, there's a part of us that's still there, and that part of us is dying, which is why it's so painful. It's painful. It is. But then you, but then you resurrect. As long. You resurrect. And it's funny. The last, um, like we, I'm, I, I, I'm building on serious bridge. I know this is an organization, but it's also a concept. It's a concept. It's a concept. Bro. Bro. Like, it's the last episode we did with uh, Amin. <clears throat> Seventy five. Seventy five is the chapter of the Quran that is. The Holy Quran that is uh, called the Resurrection. Mm. So, in our last, that what we talked about last issue or last episode was focusing. You know, not jumping from idea to idea to idea and actually focus on what we need to focus on. It's not a coincidence that we want to focus. It's like now, Nick's talking about integrity. We're talking about focusing on living ethical, moral lifestyles and not going, not using debauchery as a means to as a coping me- mechanism. Mm. And that's specifically black men. It's like, you know, we, we definitely use women as a coping mechanism. Yeah. The pleasure of a woman. No matter if it's in a relationship, out of a relationship, cheating is just like, okay, well, it feels good. And it, it helps, helps with the pain, that, that, the, the validation. Mm. We crave that sexual validation to make us, quote, unquote, feel like a man. It's like, okay, well, life treats me shitty out here. So I'm going to use the validation of a female to make me feel like I'm a man. Mm. Right. Let's be clear about that. Right. Because that's like the only venue that we feel like we're appreciated. And where does that to what end? And then on the other side, a lot of women only view us. That's our only value to a lot of women. It's like, oh, well, eh, you could fuck. Yeah. But you're not a human being. being, You don't have feelings. Or give me a bag. Facts. You can you can fuck or uh, fulfill my material desires. Me and my body. Or my emotional desires as well. Yeah. Vanity. You can you can help me with this whole vanity thing like I got going. I got this whole vanity situation going on over here. You, you can come over here and help me with that. That's right. Or you you could feed you could feed it. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Like, you could facilitate not, it. Not help me. You could, yeah, yeah, you could <laughs> feed it. You could feed and sustain it. Actually, you could yes, yeah, you could facilitate. You could facilitate the vanity. Yeah, yeah, because there's, there's a whole other side of the spectrum that we haven't discussed about. Yeah, the vanity and the. I guess on the, the feminine side. Oh, let's oh let's be oh, clear. Yeah. There's a lot oh, of vanity, side. vanity, um, just victimhood and lack of responsibility on that end. It's like okay, well, because you're being a pressure, not responsible for anything. That's uh, what I could say is the more or less what has become the the psychology of feminism is like okay, well, you you're not you're folk by putting yourself in the position of victim, you're absolving yourself in the, of any responsibility you have in getting your condition. Of your own decisions. Of your own decisions. Of your own decisions. Facts. Which are similar to ours in some sense. Like, okay, it feels good. but um, and, and justify it yeah. with emotions. Facts. And I've experienced that too. Of course. Of like, observing <laughs> irresponsible behavior, it, the consequences happening, and doubling down, refusing to accept consequences. Boom. Refusing. Refusing to Outright accept the consequences. Refusing. Yeah. And refusing to be responsible. Refusing. Refusing responsibility. 
literally saying, this is not my fault when you literally put yourself in the situation. Or on a flip, saying they accept responsibility but refusing to accept the consequences. Yeah. You know, I've seen that. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right, I did that. But, yeah. like, consequences, well, we don't, I don't, I don't have to, whoa, no, no. whoa, now you're doing too much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, accountability, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, I did, okay, you're right. Yeah. But, like, I have to do do something, do something now or I have to lose something now? I got to do, it's going to cost or, me. Or you're going to change now? What? <laughs> what do you mean you're going to change? <laughs> because I did this. So what? I did that. Yeah, so what? So what? Yeah, I talked about it fine. I'm sorry. sorry. I'll I'm say sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean it. And but shout out to the shout out to the to the Delilahs though. Shout out to Delilah. <laughs> but, but, Del, but Delilah with power is hell on earth. And that's where we are going. Because who does Delilah going. ultimately serve? Satan. Lower desire. The ops, man. Oh, the yeah, you know, facts. You have Satan. 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 No, Satan. 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 I'm just saying. Satan. Yeah. Satan. Your lower, Satan. your lower desires. Satan. The part of you that wants to destroy you. Yeah. Thanks. And if everyone's operating, yeah, if everyone is operating on that, like you're, you, you're living it. That's hell. We, we've created hell, hell on earth. <laughs> and here, where we are right now, is hell on earth, and we're ascending out of that, which is why we're having this conversation. It's a prerequisite, and it's like no one. This is gonna make a lot of brothers uncomfortable because they don't want to confront this. Hey, this is needed. I'm glad I pulled up, man. I'm this glad you needed. did too. I uh <laughs> <laughs> we got we got you know nah. But we gotta do it. Hey, we, we gotta, gotta this is it, 2023, bro. We, we made it through it, the rings and yeah. we we talked all that shit. We talked a lot of shit. We talked a lot of shit. Yeah. Shout out nearly. We, we 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 could talk shit about Rome and bang on Rome and bang on and bang and we, on the Pope and all okay. <laughs> but debauchery. Yep. <laughs> Bitchism. Yep. That little those little bitty things and, and ethics. The yeah. little bitty things. Like I said, it's not like either of us perfect. It's just like, hey, I've learned. And then it's like, all right, let me just keep fine toning, man. Yeah. And Roman's Roman. You are you. And next year I'm gonna be. It's gonna be the same. Next year I'm gonna still be like, all right, yeah. Let me work on some. Let me Absolutely. become even more ethical. Let me yeah, become even no, more moral. No, yeah, because it's not like we're in one state and out of the other completely. It's like no, just parts of us dies and sheds off, and we're ascend to a new level. And hopefully we continue the level of ascension of shedding off. Yeah, shedding it off. I know sobriety's not gonna change everything. I know not being debaucherous isn't gonna fix everything. No, let's be very clear. No. I know that, but it will increase my chances of survival. Absolutely. And it will it just, that's the number one. It will increase my chances of survival. Yeah. Which is ultimately all you, all I really want. I want to survive. I want to live. I want to oh, really thrive and survive. I want to thrive. Thrive. I want to thrive. And then yeah. the prerequisite for thriving is having integrity, having a foundation upon which you can live a thriving life. Otherwise, you're just repeating unethical behavior and then you die. You die. You, you succumb. Look like you look at shit. You look like shit at sixty. You succumb, man. You die. At, you die at sixty-five. You've seen it happen. I, I've seen it happen. I've watched people succumb and die. Yeah, yeah. And uh, from from <laughs> from just that. From 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 both sides. Both sides. Like I said, the 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 the, the, the debauchery and the from sim- the bitch assness. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know? <laughs> yeah, and a lot of times it's, it's both in one yeah. can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a mer- a it's blend. gross. It's yeah. blunt. It's gross. Yeah, no, it's facts. gross. Because a lot of people do the do the the bitchness, the the simp shit to to like facilitate the debauchery. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm only gonna to do this so I can, so I can do debaucherous things. Yeah, yeah. Which mind you, it's like on one hand, it's like no, nah, but like it. Could, I've seen that where it becomes yeah. toxic and not not genuine. That's right. It's just somewhere. To facilitate debauchery. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. that pull within us is literally, it's literally us. That's what makes it so difficult. Like, yeah. that is you that wants to do all these, these these theatrics to keep you in these rings. That's what, to ascend above and view your actions objectively. That's what makes it so hard because mm-hmm. the default reaction is to do these things. Mm-hmm. That's the default. But having discipline is to catch yourself before it happens. And observe it. So observe it. And, and, and conf- like you said, confront it. Confront it. Confront it. Look at it. Look at it hard. Don't yeah. turn away from it. Don't no. Nope, look at it. It is there. It's right in front of you. It's right in front. That's of you. what that is. Daily. That 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 thing right there is that thing. That's right. It's not no. It's not that what you're looking at 
is what it is. And except it's just what it is. That's right. And the the more you don't look at it, the more it comes for you. Yeah. Most of it is just ideas yeah. that you believe. Yep. And by continuing to, I guess, focus on it, you, you limit your potential for future expansion. Mm. Right? Yeah. It's like it's hard to look at the future when you're focused on trying to just repeat old cycles. Man. It's very difficult because the old cycle, they're, they're comforting. You're, that's what you know. They're fun, man. They're fun and, I have and so much fun. They're with fun. Debauchery. They're fun and they're, they they're what you know. Yeah, not facts. You know, building the kingdom, we're it's not built yet, so clearly we don't fucking know it. Not facts. So it's easier to, to repeat old cycles and to look into the the chaotic, beautiful potential of the kingdom because it's unknown. It's also beautiful. So it's. Do I look back at what I know or look to the future of what I don't know? It's, that's a dark chase. That's a dark chasm. But as we've said in two episodes, we got to jump into that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. And all of us are in that situation where it's like, okay, it's, it's time to jump. And we're here. We're over here. But it's like, whoa, whoa. Got to gotta learn how to swim again. Yeah. And we're learning, like, which part of it. Because, like you said, because it's unknown, some of it looks like repeated trauma. Yeah. Some of it looks like Oh, I don't want to do that again. Yeah, and we don't, and we're learning that. Like, well, how much of this unknown creating in the, the kingdom isn't going back to Saturn's rings? It's a good question, right? Yeah, because some of it does look like it feels like it looked like you said. We still like, yeah. we're still like, oh no, yeah, like, <laughs> a resistance. Yeah, yeah, of like, oh no, I can't go. I, uh, and it's like, no, like jump, jump, but at the same time. L- let's learn how to swim. Learn how to swim. So it's like no. it's like learning how to swim. That's what they say, build it while you fly. Like yeah. that's what that's what, we're doing. that's what the future is. No, for real. That's what for resurrection real. is. That is what it is. It's not just it's not a light switch. It's, it's a process. Yeah. And we're just we're, we're in the we're in the way. We're learning how we're learning how to swim. All of us. All of us, man. All of us who have made this choice not to not to go back into the rings. It's like okay. We jump into this level. And if you discuss there's politics everywhere. And but that's just the ramification of stepping into power, where your every one of your actions affects many people. So people are going to feel a certain way no matter what you do. Mm-hmm. So accepting that, taking responsibility for that, and being comfortable with that, mm-hmm. and being communicative, communicative when when the situation requires, because uh, communication solves is the solvent for everything. So stepping into new levels of power requires you to be more, just more, more, yeah, to rely on communication about this is why I'm doing it and this is why I've done why I've done mm. and being resolute in your decision making. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. <sighs> Not that a lot. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. Yeah, I needed this. Yeah, we all, I, I think I think we all did. Yeah, and um, <laughs> because it's, shout out to Allah, shout out to Allah, <laughs> and it's it, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, you and I've been asking for this, and now it's here, and it's like, man. And I'm not, I'm watching debauchery want to pull me in, and yeah, I'm watching bro. and I'm watching the want to pull me in. Too. I'm watching them both. both I'm observing both, them both. Both. Like, hey, man, just come back, bro. Yeah, just please come just back. come back. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. It's like, oh, just like, come on. Man. So it's like I'm not, right. I'm I'm observing it. Yeah, it's not like oh yeah I'm oh I'm over here now like no I'm just postulating and observing. <laughs> I see you, bro. <laughs> I see you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, hey, what's up, no? What's up, man? Hey, <laughs> what's up? Get some debauchery. Hey, I heard you still like debauchery, right? <laughs> I just want to know if you want a little bit of debauchery over here. And it's like, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. And it's like, hey, I heard you like I heard you still a simp, nigga. Deep, deep down, I heard you still yeah a lover and a beta male, nigga, and you yeah. still believe in this shit. Yeah. What's up? Come see. Yeah, what's up? Come on. What's up? What's up? Come on. Just give like, him a massage. And it's just like, a massage, bro. It's like, fuck. I do believe in like, both. Like, I am the vibe. It's like, I, I do understand. still believe in falling in love. And yeah. no, you shut up, nigga. Stop. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> there are higher order priorities securing our survival. I, for me, I just don't. I know. I kind of accept. I. This is not me. Yeah. Like. It was, it's just something I wish I could do. Yeah. But it's like, 
I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a builder, man. Yeah, no. I'm an outside nigga. No, nah, we're we're both builders. I, we're, I we're, have we're to builders, go man. get this shit. I have to go build this shit. Yo, for real, for real. It's you for me. Yeah, so. we got to survey the landscape. We got to lay the plans, and we got to actually build it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because literally, no one else will. We're gonna die and then have to do it all over again. <sighs> it, Allah's like that, man. He's like that. He's like okay. And the thing about Allah is objective. So if the white man operates in integrity and is working, he gonna build the kingdom. Where's your place? You, Rome just bought another thousand years. No, hey amen. Because that's fair. It's like okay, well, cool. If you if y'all okay, if you operate in integrity and you are doing things, I'm like, oh, go, move move forward, Christian soldier. Where are you at? Hey, man. <laughs> How we feel about How, whatever, whatever, and that's that's what is happening, and that is what will happen. Because end of the day, Allah's colorblind; like he ain't really no. He's like he, your actions are your actions. Yeah. Being unethical and being immoral isn't gonna uh, kill immorality and in, in, in unethics. No, and that's just a hard truth. It is. Being an anarchist isn't gonna fix the broken system. No. <laughs> no. That was not. Right. Yeah. Turning a blind eye and wanting to not be a part of what's going on. You just still part of what's going on. That's right. You know, like like that's what I'm observing too. I'm observing people try to be like, Oh, we don't wanna be we don't care about all that over there. But then be trying to do it over here. The same, like you're just doing it. You're yeah. still doing the same thing. You're still doing the same thing. Bro. Yeah. You're still doing the same exact thing that we did. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, you're still doing the literally the same things we did over here. Except that you didn't learn from the mistakes hey, over here. Hey, you just jumped over there. Right. Okay. 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 All right, bro. Okay. All right, cool. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. And I'll catch you when I I catch you when I catch you because I gotta deal with my shit. That's right. You know. So but yeah, man, it's one. It's time. It's time, man. Yes, sir. Shout out to Allah. Thank you, Allah. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the most merciful, and master of the day of judgment. Thee alone do we serve, thee alone do we beseech for divine aid. God is on the right path, the path upon whom thou hast bestowed favors, not upon whom thy wrath has been brought down, nor upon those who go astray. Amin. Amin. Islam.